Turn it off. Good morning, everyone. Oh, well, it's not morning because it's <laughs> 1 p.m. because we woke up way later than expected. But that's fine. Welcome to our rainy day in Hong Kong. So we just got ready. We got some coffee and tomatoes. And we're gonna give you a little bit of our mentor how we live here in Hong Kong. And then we're gonna grab some food later. Now we're living with others because Hong Kong is like a super expensive city. So we have roommates from other countries as well. This is our room. It's usually originally for like one person, but we made do and we have two beds. Here's Michael's bed, here's my bed. And my bed is currently on the floor. But because we have this little metal bed thing here, but it was a lot of work and actually more painful than this floor bed. So yeah, like maybe Michael can give you a demonstration as to how we do our uh, daily routine. As you can see, we have a little bit of space under the bed still. We uh, put our suitcases here, the bed, and we're just like basically pushing everything under the bed to just get rid of it. So we get some more space in this small room. And yeah, just here, literally like this. This is literally the bed. A little fold away, and but look how much space we got. <laughs> we even got told that this is the biggest room that people are dreaming of having in Hong Kong. Clothes and stuff tucked away in here. Here's like our closet. It's the normal, nothing too crazy, but it's what we have. This is our view from our corridor, and it's pretty cool because all the buildings are so high, so you can see the view. But today. It's a rainy day. We brought our umbrellas from Daiso. That are gonna help us survive today. Yay! Oh, you're gonna get bad luck. If you open umbrellas really? inside, it's bad luck for years. Oh, I have it already. <laughs> Look at all this rain on my beautiful clear umbrella. Uh, there's this trend here to have umbrella hats. And yes. Yeah, like a little, we'll try to see if we could see them. But a lot of the older people here, they get like these hats that are just umbrellas on top of their head and it's so cute and I want one too. We are reaching the restaurant that we were heading to. Usually there's like a huge line, but maybe because of the rain there's less. So we kind of just look, check out what they have, and then say this, this, this. Yeah. This and the cauliflower. This and the cauliflower. Yeah. That's a big meal. Yeah, and so... we paid not that much. We spent maybe around 80. So now we're on our way to go some fruits from one of the local markets and they have really nice fruit here and it's much cheaper than getting in the sorry <laughs> i almost ran into somebody it's much cheaper than getting it from the supermarkets here look at all of these fruits <laughs> today the year was more than usual one time we got uh like i think one kg and we were so disappointed because there was like five mango scenes in there and yeah but today we have a bag so it's a good day so we're headed back home after the fruit market we're gonna drop some stuff off and then i think we're gonna just do some quick laundry to make sure we're getting some chores today because you know there's not much to really do outside anyway and it's good to just get things done finally yeah. okay. So we're back in our apartment and we're about to eat these mango steens in our bed, table, kitchen, everything in one. Ah. Okay, so just look at this masterpiece. So we have this laundry like right in our apartment complex and it's super convenient because we don't have any washer and dryers in there. So we usually just come here and there's a bunch of washing machines and drying machines. And now we're heading to the shop. We're gonna buy some more food for the dinner. We're planning maybe we're gonna make some hot pot, Chinese hot pot. Just two? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. So we accidentally stumbled and found everything we needed in this local shop. 
It's actually crazy how cheap we got everything because we usually go to the supermarket and how crazy is it that we got pumpkin, we got uh, anoki mushrooms and we got, what else we got? Uh, bok choy. Bok choy and we paid only 12 Hong Kong dollars which is basically like, like how many dollars? Like one and a half USD. What the hell? There's really thin streets, lots of stairs, lots of movement. It's really big city vibes, kind of reminds me of like San Francisco or New York, but I don't know, like, I feel like as soon as you leave the house, it's like an adventure. These hills in Hong Kong, guys, you will never believe, but they have even escalators here that you wanna go up the hill, but they made it convenient that when at certain point, when you already cannot do it anymore, you get on the escalator and you go all the way up to the top of the hill, but thank God, look at this, how pretty it looks. All the way down there, we are living. As you see, they're here and they just go simply up there. There's no store at the end, anything. It's an escalator just to not walk uphill. We're gonna be choosing some food for our hot pot now. So let's see. Okay, we're gonna get this uh, beef. Actually, in other countries, we've been getting some beef ones, but here is actually you can get the fresh ones, I think, because they're packed like, you know, probably I here. I don't know how fresh it is if it's frozen. Yeah. <laughs> Ta -da. We don't have a Shaolong Bao steamer, so then I learned a little life hack. And what I do is I take like this little metal strainer and then we fill the pot with some boiling water and I just put this in here and then that way we get our little steam paper and we have our own little DIY steamer for these Shaolong Bao. But if you don't have a steamer, no excuse. We can eat some soup dumplings. This is the secret of cooking on the budget. Yes, always find a little hack so that way you can still make everything but without paying an insane price. Okay, so we got this. I don't know if we should put the hole because it looks super spicy. Oh, it already looks real hot pot. I don't know you guys, I'm thinking we're doing pretty well, like steaming some Sha Long Bao, having our hot pot already boiling. I feel like I'm getting a sauna facial in here because it's hot. Spicy facial, right? It's probably good for skin. <laughs> I don't think it's good. <laughs> Whatever oils and stuff is in this is probably not good. Yeah. Maybe just energy. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today and we hope you enjoyed. Leave us some love in the comment section and see you next time. Bye! Bye.